Okay, so the topic we're going to work on today is solving a word problem using the law of sine. So it wouldn't be a good objective without a nice word problem, right? Okay, so let's think about what we know and what we don't know here. We got a little ski resort. We can see the lift coming up. Yeah, thanks. Uh, nice drawing for you, so that, that kind of helps you out big time. But what we're actually looking for in this problem is what will that measure of angle B be? BB. Okay, so here is angle B. We want to know what that is. Okay, so there's a couple things you know right off the bat, and you don't even have to put a lot of thought into it. Like, for instance, this line, right? If that line's straight, it's 180 degrees. So this angle right here should be what? Exactly. It's going to be 180 minus whatever this thing is. Well, this thing is 34, so you're going to have 180 degrees minus 34 will give you its measure, which is 146. Okay? So that means this is 146 degrees. Okay? And now we're going to fill in some other things. Okay? So this is going to jump us to the law of sines. So in case you forgot what the law of sines are, I'll write them again for you. Sine of an angle, any angle, it doesn't matter. And its corresponding sine is equal to the sine of another angle, like, I don't know, call it C, divided by its corresponding sine, we'll call it C. So now that's your law of sine. So we're going to fill in what we know. Um, we have two sets already. So here's one. Oops, that's supposed to be a highlighter. 146 and 1950. Angle measure angle and then the measure of the whole side. So let's fill that in. So it's going to be sine of 146 divided by 1950. It's going to be equal to, well, we're going to figure out what we're trying to find. We might as well, well, what do you want to try to find here? Um, here's another side. So that can give us this angle. So we'll go this angle right here with this side. Okay. So that's going to give us um, sine of, we don't know, well, let's just call it C, sine of C divided by side length C, which is going to be 1070, okay? All right, so now all we have to do is cross multiply, all right? So if you cross multiply and divide, all right, so that's going to give you sine of C times 1950, that's supposed to be a 9, sorry, that's supposed to be a 0, is going to be equal to 1070 times sine of 146. Okay, so you divide both sides by 1950, and that'll get rid of them. Oh, Christmas colors going on here. 1950, these cancel this side by 1950. Okay, so that gives us sine of C is equal to this thing. Okay, all right, so to figure out what that's going to be, we're going to go to our calculator. Okay, so we're going to do the sine inverse. So we want to undo that sine, so we're going to do the inverse sine there. So C is actually going to be equal to sine inverse or the arc sine of this. So that's all going to go in our calculator. So I already kind of did that ahead of time. So if you look right here, I'm going to grab this thing and move it up there for us. All right, there it is. So what we did is we typed in and found the decimal for the thing inside. That's this thing right here. And once we found the decimal, we plugged it in for the arc sign of it or the inverse sign of that right here and gave us this. So what is that that I found? That is going to be, um, so C is, and that's a big C, is equal to 17 point, um, what does it want us to round to? Nearest 10, so 17.9. Okay. All right. So that means that 
this is what is that? That is going to be this right here. That's that angle. All right, that's 17.9. Well, that's convenient because you know what's really nice is we have everything we need. So check it out. Um, we got. We have this angle, we have this angle, and we want to find this angle. That's what we're trying to find. So all we have to do is add these two together and subtract from 180 because we know there's 180 degrees in the triangle. So here we go. Um, we're going to have 180 minus 146 minus 17.9. That's going to give us 16.1 um, degrees which is B, which is what they're looking for. So let me go put it there. A little sloppy there, sorry. But um, yeah, so that's how you do it. So it's law of signs. You're just going to be trying to set up what you know when you're looking for these problems to solve. Try to find an angle that you know and its side that you know. That'll be your like constant when you're going to set it equal to. And then you grab uh, a side or an angle that you know with something you don't know and you solve for it. And once you solve for it, you're about good to go. All right, so no big deal at all. Um, hopefully you don't have too much problems with that.